Hail to thee, maker of barley, feeder of cattle, carrier of ships, praise of all the gods. Pharaoh of Egypt, you have not yet obeyed the Lord. Let my people go. Point of a sword shall Let him endure. rave on that men shall know him mad. Obey the Lord, or he will raise his hand against the waters of the river. I have come to bless the waters. You have come to curse them. We will learn if a god of shepherds is stronger than the gods of Pharaoh. Water of life, give drink to the desert, and make green the meadow. Aaron, stretch out my staff against the waters. Seven days, Egypt will thirst. Seven days without water will fill every seven. jug and jar. Pestilence will be everywhere. For it's seven times seven days. No magician's trick will set your people free. Sacred water, make pure the flood from which you came. And God smote the land with all manner of plagues, but still Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Great one, you hear the cry of Egypt. They would cry louder if they had to make the bricks. Send them away. The people have been plagued by thirst. They've been plagued by frogs. By lice, by flies, by sickness, by boils, they can endure no more. Why do you bring this worker of evil before me? The people desert the temples. They turn from the gods. What gods? You prophets and priests made the gods that you may prey upon the fears of men. When the Nile ran red, I too was afraid. Until word came of a mountain beyond the cataracts, which spewed red mud and poisoned the water. Was it the staff I gave you that caused all this? Was it the wonder of your God that fish should die and frogs should leave the waters? Was it the miracle that flies and lice should bloat upon their carrion and spread disease in both man and beast? These things were ordered by themselves, and not by any God. Now go. That you may know these things are done of God. You shall see hail fall from a clear sky and burn as fire upon the ground. You shall see darkness cover Egypt when the sun climbs high to noon. And you shall know that God is God and bow down to his will. Nothing of this earth can make me bow to you, Moses. Behold, the hail comes. When darkness has covered Egypt for three days, your ministers will send for me.
the three days of darkness you have whined like frightened children in the night. Moses said the sun would shine in three days, and it is true. Oh, great one, let his people go, for all of Egypt will be barren from the cataract to the sea. Will my father free the slaves? Can taxes be collected from dead cattle and blighted harvests? Does fear rule Egypt? But why? We fear no army of the earth, but can we fight plagues with swords? There is no shame in this. The strongest tree bends. It is not Pharaoh who yields to the slave, but his counselors. I have summoned Moses at your request. People will bless you, great one. No other choice. Does the world bow to an empty throne? Empty. Does a pharaoh harden his heart against his son? If you let the Hebrews go, who will build his cities? You told Moses to make bricks without straw. Now he tells you to make cities without bricks. <laughs> who is the slave and who is the pharaoh? Do you hear laughter, Ramses? Yes, the laughter of kings. In Babylon, in Canaan, in Troy. As Egypt surrenders to the god of slaves. Bring the Hebrew in.